Hey Starseeds, welcome to Starseed Energetics Blessings. This is going to be one of the most important videos I'll ever record in my life. I'm sure there's going to be many others, but this is definitely one of them. Um, so as you, have, as you probably know, if you've followed me for some time, I've been MIA for the past few months. The last time I posted stuff was back in June in Brussels. And even the July videos I recorded back in June and then I just went missing. So I just want to talk about what happened and why it happened and just trying to reflect to you um, what really occurred there and how it came to be that way. So I just went through the most quantum shifts that I've ever gone through in my life, which has partially um, to do with my astrological chart. And I'm not going to say that any kind of physical one cause is the root of anything it was all a synchronicity like it's the beginning of my saturn return um like the pre phases of it and i have a really deep contract with the saturn return and i know everyone has a deep contract with the saturn return but personally like i even knew what before i even knew what a saturn return was ever since i was a little kid i just knew something was going to happen around after the age of 27 28 like something crazy transformative um, that is so tied up with ripples and ripples of the collective um, okay so if you hear chickens I'm in Bali so just I'm not a farmer okay okay so where do I begin just as a slight background to the feminine the divine feminine and I know that from the title of the goddess here in the video, you probably would guess that it has something to do with the Divine Feminine. I do, I have a really, really wounded lineage of the Feminine that I had to transmute. And that went along with, you know, my grandmothers, my mother, so on and so forth. It's just very, very heavy to transmute. And one of my friends, Nicole Frolic, she once asked me to do a Divine Feminine Roundtable and I kind of just like gently refused because I just didn't feel in the right place to teach it. If you just know how I move and the things I do, it's, it's quite masculine. Even if I look feminine, I never felt comfortable with embodying the feminine, basically, or just completely allowing myself to express myself in that way. Uh, just only partially and then <laughs> When Nicole was telling me hey, you should really take a look at that. That's not okay I'm like, I know it's not okay, but I'm not perfect, you know And then I had this intention like yeah, I really do want to get into it Like why am I so comfortable and so obsessed with this idea of androgyny and not really wanting to ground into the third dimensional polaric interface of the divine feminine and just in case you don't really have a solid idea of what feminine energy is it can be basically viewed as an expression of source energy that from our human perspectives can be experienced as flow, grace, receptivity, surrender, and trust, while masculine energy is more expressed through generation, creation, and initiation. Without a good balance, both spectrums are kind of fractured. So as a society, we live through an entire paradigm of a fractured masculine that was like hustling, pushing, and forcing. So basically with the restoration of your feminine energy with these activations, you will be experiencing like exponentially graceful transformations with ease and flow instead of painful change and painful evolution and painful purging. And why am I just so comfortable with this fractured masculine? Because without the feminine, the masculine is also fractured. So I'm basically just like the way that, that I talk to people, as you can probably tell from my YouTube channel, it's, it's quite masculine, but not in, a, not in the most divine way. It's just quite, fractured so I had that intention and then one of the authors that I work with on Solvana which is it's a tech project that I direct and produce it's an app working with some of the most elite spiritual healers in the world that are not yet known to the masses for instance Regan Hillier is a self-made seven-figure entrepreneur who is a healer and a channel and she channels star systems um, like you probably wouldn't even believe that and their clients are like CEOs celebrities but they're not really known to the world first and foremost because the masses are not ready to handle that kind of archetype and second it's just um, they don't need the masses they're they're good 
Um, but I think eventually when the world, the collective is ready, for instance, you guys are meeting her work, which I think will just change your life. And if you resonate with me, you will resonate with her for, for facts. Because I, I resonate with, my soul resonates with her soul to a degree that I just... Um, but anyway, so in Brussels, in June, middle of June, I think it was exactly the middle of June, Regan, who I was working with before on the app, she had received a personal re initiation in one of her plant medicine retreats to all of a sudden drop everything and go to Greece. And you don't understand, this lady um, is so busy and in demand that she had all these things planned, but she was initiated to go into the middle of the Greek islands as if you know it takes a lot of effort to go to the Greek islands it's not like you can just go there you have to like take detours and so she did that and she was literally channeled with these 13 codes of the goddess activation and then she did this 60 minute full channeling in the middle of the Greek islands in amongst a pillar of the sacred ruins of the divine masculine so this one hour channeling of an activation. So she released that activation in the middle of June and I received it for the first time then. And what happened from there, um, and I'm not saying that this is the reason why I'm here. Obviously I've been doing insane amounts of refinement and energy work up until this point in my life. So, you know, it's not like the seeds have to be there and the blueprint has to be there, but this was, the most powerful catalyst in my entire life so far um, in terms of like energy work and activation and I've done that one hour immersion countless times I think like 30 times or even more over the past three months three to four months and it's only been four months I can't believe that but anyway that activation after that activation a month later i decided to go full out with her 13 day immersion because i'm like you know i i gotta do this it's the most influential thing even just the one hour activation which i'm sharing with you at the end of this spiel um which i'm so grateful and blessed to be able to do that with you guys because you guys are literally like my family but that's also why is because my soul has a contract as she has a contract to bring this out, I have this contract to activate some of the most key females or also males, obviously, but especially females who are on my channel, who's been resonating with me. You, if you feel me right now, you were meant to get this one hour activation. Whatever you do after that is up to you. Whether you want to get the 13th immersion or not, up to you. But this one hour thing itself will just shift everything. Um, but anyway, after that, so when I requested the 13 day immersion and I received it, that was actually a month after June, mid June, which was mid July, but it happened to be falling right on my birthday, uh, July 16th. So from then on, I did the 13 day every single day. And then as she will explain, whether it's a one hour immersion or the actual 13 day uh, deeper immersion, there's 90 days of the initial integration period of the first wave of change. And basically what I was doing and part, like biggest part of why I've been kind of missing from YouTube for the past three months is because the change and the waves of change that I've been getting from this I didn't have a solid sense of identity and when I first received the 13 day and I started that on my birthday the next day my guides and my council came to me and they said I have to start embodying my new name and if you watch my life update video I talk about how they've always told me my guides have always told me that eventually I will embody a new name so my name was traditionally Boryan that was my birth name but then they said my higher version of myself is Ashtara and I thought that was gonna be in like three to five years but after 
that July, mid-July, they told me it has to be now. So I texted my dad. I told him I need to go through a name change. So he uh, went to go get my birth certificate from Korea and he shipped it. Um, and after that, I was in Krabi in August. And on August 8th, this was not planned, obviously. August 8th, which is Lionsgate, um, I got a new birth chart. So my birthday for Ashtara was August 8th. I had the most intense, full-blown, ultra-dimensional experience in this incarnation. And I've had countless, countless mystical experiences like what yogis would call states of samadhi just like this. I, I would just, that, that, they were just blasting my life since I was young, but this was like the most insane. Like literally I felt every single cell disappear into the void and reappear with this new birth chart. And the whole time there was this music playing that was attuned to the sun frequency that I didn't even realize. I was, just happened to be inside of a hotel that was shaped into the dome of a octahedron which i didn't plan and on the top was like a glass ceiling and the sun was just filtering through i didn't plan any of this it was the most insane thing that i literally transcended past this octave of creation so past the 12th dimension and so that happened in August and meanwhile just imagine I'm doing this immersion over and over this one hour immersion over and over and over again when I like an energy session I go over and over and over again and there's many energy sessions that were like that before some activations that I had purchased courses that I had purchased whether it was Gerard or Donald or all these like you know amazing healers and teachers but this I've never felt because I'm so sensitive to subtle energy and this was literally like drinking water in the middle of a desert is, is what this activation feels like. Um, it's like an oasis in the middle of a dying desert is what it feels like energetically, what it feels like energetically. And there's so many things that happened in between, like there are so many pieces of the puzzles that I was being blessed with. Um, for instance, when I was in Brussels, I was speaking to another shaman who's also like a world-class shaman, Banesh. He was telling me that this Brussels was part of the dragon grid line and there was something activating within me uh, that was true to my heart and my heritage, so my Asian roots. And I was like, okay, I just take it in and then, you know, dismiss it like I usually do until I get more information. Then when I went uh, to Krabi, I realized that's also part of this dragon grid. It's, imagine this is an island and Brussels is the unifying center of Europe. And then all these different places that I was led to travel, I was informed from my council that they were actually for me to ground these codes, the activation codes. So when I'm integrating these activation codes in all of these geolocational grids, I'm physically anchoring down the energetic activation into the grid. So I did it in Brussels. I did it in Kuala Lumpur. I did it in, um, I can't remember, this jungle near Kuala Lumpur that was also a dragon grid. It just, I imagine I go into the hotel and I open the first page and the first thing that I see is the legends is that the lake holds dragons underneath. Um, these are the kinds of things that happen. Anyway, after that I went to Krabi, which the legends say the caves have bull dragons, and I was literally doing this with speakers inside of the caves in Rayleigh Beach and Aonang, and it's just radiating and activating the geolocational grid. And the geolocational grid is so crucial because it's literally physical vortexes that I'm grounding this into and it's going straight to mother earth and it's rippling out to the rest of the world. So it's like ripples, ripples, ripples. And I was light working in this way for the past three to three months. Just as a side note also while editing, what this basically means is that the geolocation activations that have already been performed with this activation, including the Greek islands, Bali, Egypt, and from my end, the islands of Krabi, Penang, etc., etc you'll also be accessing and activating the grids to where you personally are 
and interacting with the information grids that where this was anchored in. Um, and then now I'm in Bali, which is a, a location that Regan physically mentioned. The most crucial pinpoint, other than the Greek islands, obviously, and Egypt that she mentions. And I'm here now after this initial 90 day period. Was this planned? No. Physical things that have happened since my initial activation in June. As you can probably tell, I'm glowing. I've never glowed so hard in my life. I've released so much unnecessary weight in terms of like my physical body and it's still counting. I've released addictions, especially like a food addiction. I, I don't know if you've heard me talking about this, but the last kind of addiction that I had that was really hard for me to get rid of was food because I would have these periods of really healthy eating, fasting, eating keto, vegetables. And then as soon as I hit this low point, which we all do, like the dark shadows of the soul moments, I would just eat so much crap. And I couldn't really like, I couldn't figure it out. But this is literally like adding the most potent interdimensional fuel to the fire. And you're about to get this one hour or so. I just wanna um, finish talking about what happened in my life since then. So that's that. So many relationships went through waves of transformation. People that I didn't even realize had these unhealthy dynamics with me because you would just think, oh, they're my friends or whatever. And they seemed like normal friendship. I just see tendencies or see dynamics where it's just so unhealthy. I've cut away a lot of people in my life and then um, seen the truths that were just insanely invisible before I just see them. And then if not, I cut people away from my life and they come back transformed. It, it's, it's a convoluted dynamic and obviously this was one of the hardest things because it's always hard to go through, navigate through relationships. Also because I'm a Libra Ascendant, both in my first birth chart and the second chart, actually I'm a Libra Ascendant. So I'm like Libra to the max Ascendant. I apologize for this sound, but I'm assuming it's some sort of an instrument. So um, that's that. My financial abundance is increasing to a rate it's just obviously it's one of the things that I'm meant to do is ground that but this I'm not even gonna go and talk about how much this has trend I, I don't even know how to go about it but financial abundance is another one another area my team like my passion projects just multiplying and I don't know like star state energetics is one thing and I, I don't really I haven't really had the time to really focus on it, but my other project, just taking off, multiplying. And the most important thing is my perception on everything, my consciousness. And I think the most kind of important thing to know about the transformations is that when you go through a transformative portal, it's never like you arrive anywhere. It just opens more doors. So in this, completion of the first wave of the integration which was 90 days but it'll continue rippling out because that's just what time does as an evolutionary system it just ripples in cycles i am now initiated into ancient chinese medicine art healing and tantric art which is something that i would have never guessed but back in June when Manesh was telling me, oh, I definitely unlocked something in terms of my root and my heritage, now it makes sense. But that's as far as I'll go. You, you know, that's, that's as far as I'll go. So anyway, I've told and expressed so much gratitude to Regan because like the service, as you will experience for the next hour, is just, it's interdimensional quantum healing service. And I was literally like, I don't even know what to say to you. But I asked her, I have a channel of starseeds and because this is so niche, like she will not go and market herself as like a starseed healer or nothing. She will just use normal language. But then in the middle of her work, she'll channel Arcturians, Lyrans, Palladians, I, I asked her if I can share this one hour activation with you and she agreed. 
So, this is, honestly, I know I do my own work, but me transmitting or being the channel to this work is one of the most valuable things. I think it's going to just change your life so much. Just for the next hour, enjoy, you can repeat this. I encourage you to repeat this as much as you want. And if you want to go deeper, you can get the 13 day immersion. I can, t as I'm sure you can tell, like this isn't about selling anything. It's like, it's an honor to be able to freaking access this with whatever value exchange there is. But in any case, if you want to go deeper with it after the hour, I will have an affiliate link at the end. And please honor the fact that I'm called to, to spread this with you and I was part of the conduit. So I hope you'll understand the dynamics behind all of this. It's just a blessing that's coming into your life. Look, the next hour is for your taking. And drink plenty of water, be prepared to transform. And namaste. Hello, welcome. This is Regan Hillier here. And firstly, I wanted to congratulate you for putting your hand up and saying yes to being a part of the Intuitive Goddess Activation. It's truly an honor to have you receive this right now. This has been a, a deep journey for me personally, involving many, many planes, many boat trips, many changing of plans and much surrendering to this divine process. So I'm so grateful, so grateful that you get to receive this right now. So a few points that I wanted to touch on before you dive into the full activation, uh, just so you can get the most out of this activation. The main activation is about 45 minutes long, so make sure you clear space for that. You don't want to drop in and out of this ideally. It's best utilized when you when you have 45 minutes to really drop in and receive this without any distractions, uh, where you can really sit down, close your eyes, and just receive. This is audio, and you just get to listen and become totally available. You don't want to be taking notes through the process. You don't want to be in your mind much. You just want to listen and receive it. This is a absolutely potent piece of activation which you are about to receive and you will understand what I mean by the end of this. The only way that this activation won't work for you is if you're in resistance to it, if you're choosing that it's not going to work or if you have a skeptical energy and you're saying, I don't know whether this is going to work for me. Well, whatever we vibrate with becomes true in our reality. So if that's where you're at, don't even listen to it. <laughs> However, if you're open and you're available and you're wanting to actually receive the upgrades available to you in this activation, then so it is. So I want to tell you a little bit about the intuitive goddess activation. This is for firstly all women on this planet right now. If you're currently in a masculine body, of course, you can listen to this. You can upgrade your feminine energy as well. And I just invite you to then share this with all of the goddesses that you care about most in your life. And for all the women listening to this, we're all connected. We are one. We rise collectively. And the more women that truly embody their intuitive goddess and live into this and activate all of the incredible codes and gifts available to them right now so that they can live deep in their power, deeper in their truth and rise deeper in their greatness, the more women we have doing it, the easier it becomes for all of us for this to truly be our natural state. So I really invite you to share this activation, get it out to the world, tell your friends about it, let other people know if you love it so that we can get more and more and more people in the collective actually listening to this and receiving this and activating this. So this activation is a channeled activation. What this means in a sense is that some words may sound a bit funky <laughs> or may not be completely accurate when it comes to the English. Just know that that's okay and it's the frequency behind these words that actually matter. So don't get in your mind with this. Don't overanalyze it. Don't think, oh, I didn't catch that word or what did Regan just say or she spoke really fast. Uh, just know that it's, it's 
the vibrational frequency and all of the activations within your energetic field that you're receiving that actually count. Now, let me share a little bit around the actual activation and the process so you have some context to this. The activation took place on an island called Dallas Island, which is a sacred center right in the center of all of the Greek islands. I was intuitively guided through to be on this island. I journeyed there. I changed my entire life plans for a week in order to venture to this island and, and uh, you know, take a boat ride. It was about a, a six hour process roughly from start to finish. However, the full activation that was recorded is simply 45 minutes. So the good news is you don't have to sit here for six hours. You just get the, 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 the juicy bits for 45 minutes. And when I arrived on the island, I started feeling into exactly where this activation got to take place. Now, when I first started walking and I thought, okay, I'll just walk through the island and you know, feel out where to go. The island is full of temples. It's extremely beautiful. If you have not been there before, there are all these, these ruins of these ancient temples everywhere throughout the island. So I started walking and I, I started feeling um, rather sick very quickly. And I actually started purging simply because the energy coming through, looking to be released through the specific grid lines that run through this island, the energies were so intense. So I physically started purging. And once I had gone through that release process and nurtured myself and, and taken a breather, I then continued on the path and on the journey. I began walking uh, slightly up to the, uh, I guess the center point of the island and then a little bit down into the right. And I was asking, you know, please guide me, where does this get to take place? And there were a million places I could have been on this one island that would have been incredible. And I looked over and I saw one set of temple ruins and I just knew, I was like, okay, that's it. And I received guidance, go there, go there right now. So I went and each of the, each of the, the temple ruined points have a small sign. And so when I got closer, I thought, I wonder, I wonder what this temple is. And it was labeled the house of men. And at first I thought, well, that can't be right. You know, this is a, <laughs> this is a goddess activation. This is all about the divine feminine. This is for women. Why would I be in the house of men? And then it hit me that this was indeed the temple of the divine masculine that I was led to. And as I stepped inside and I started to clamber into the center of the ruins of this temple, I realized that we were being required to be there in this very present moment in time in order to be totally held by the masculine and also witnessed by the masculine as all of this, which cleared and then shifted and activated through these grids of the divine feminine, all of this shifted. So isn't that beautiful? We get to be witnessed and held by the divine masculine as the feminine rises. And I saw in the activation that the divine masculine then also received so many upgrades simply through witnessing the divine masculine, the divine feminine rising. You know, one of the fastest ways to shift something is to actually witness it. So that is a little bit about the location. Once I had got to the center point of the ruins of the temple of the divine masculine, I noticed that there were some pillars around me, of course, <laughs> and I counted the pillars and I realized that there were 13. Of course, there were 13 pillars. 13 is the number of the goddess. I was shown to place my hands on each of these 13 pillars. And as I did so, it was like a surge of energy came through from the sky, from the cosmos, through my body and into these pillars. And it literally, the pillar would light up in front of me. And after the first one, I thought, wow, that was intense. And then I moved on to the second one. The same one happened. I went through to each one of these 13 pillars in order to actually activate the grid before this activation took place. I was given guidance also that the ring that was gifted to me by my beloved that I was wearing on my left hand, of course, was to be used as a divine portal activator and also a symbol of divine union. And you will hear much of the divine union coding beginning to activate towards the end of this activation. One of the tools that I utilize through this activation is what I call coded medicine light language, and I use it to clear and also to activate. 
In short, this is channeled from the light beings, the guides that I am connected with in the higher dimensions. And if you haven't witnessed this or heard this before or experienced some of my work like this before, it basically sounds like some of the language or a series of sounds. You may find that you deeply understand it and you feel what it means. You may not. It may mean nothing. It may be gibberish to you, but either way is just perfect. All you get to do is just surrender into it and relax and really just lean into the activations that it's providing you in that moment and remember this activation is not about conditioning your mind this is beyond the mind we're working on your energetic field okay so if your mind doesn't understand everything that I say every word every piece of code of medicine light language that's okay it goes far 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 beyond this so on that note I am so excited and humbled and grateful to share this with you. So please find a, a quiet space, close your eyes, lean back, ground into your field and enjoy. Okay, so we are here on Dallas Island right now. Beautiful, divine, sacred island of Dallas. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. We are so grateful, so, so grateful to be here in this present moment. Thank you, Sacred Land, for having me, for having us here right now. Thank you for being such a beacon of light, a beacon that has radiated all the way across the world to many moments in time where this island has called me and all women here in order to deep dive into this divine sacred activation of the intuitive goddess codes. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So divinely grateful. <sighs> Beginning to open the space right now. Grounding down into the center of the earth with a red laser beam, allowing a golden laser beam to shoot up through the crown chakra, connecting all the way to the soul star. That's it. Beginning to open up the field gently with ease, with grace, and with flow. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I decree and declare that this potent activation will be a divine activation for the divine feminine, for all women walking the planet right now, whether they are aware of this activation, whether they receive it, whether they know what is going on or not, if they are ready, if they are open, if they are available, I decree and declare that this be the moment in time that everything shifts drastically. I decree and declare that this be the moment, the very pinnacle in time, just like a pillar on this sacred island, pinpointed in this timeline right now, that so much change is created, so many waves of evolution flow from this very moment, this very experience, so that every single woman on this planet can stand even more deeply in her power, even more deeply in her greatness, even more deeply truly embodying the intuitive goddess that she is at her core. We come with so much gratitude, with hearts wide open, calling in divine guidance right now, divine support, beings of light, angels, archangels, coming down into the space right now, coming down onto planet Earth, coming down into this moment in time, in Dallas Island, in Greece, Yes, welcome, welcome, welcome beings. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for your divine presence. <sighs> Inviting Athena to be present here now into the space. Welcome. Inviting the beings of light from Venus. Welcome. The Palladians of the highest vibration are welcome. The Acturian Council are welcome. And of course, the Lyrians, specifically calling in three Lyrian goddesses right now. 
I welcome dropping down into the space, invoking Zaya, Samara, and Leha. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It is an honor. It is a privilege. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. Oh. Yes. Invoking the sacred ring right now, worn upon my finger, to act as a portal opener, to act as a diffuser of light, allowing this ring to bend and transform and shift and alchemize anything that we are consciously bringing attention to in the space and everything else that unconsciously desires to be shifted and transformed. May it be done through the sacred activator this divine symbol of divine union, that's it. The Hieros Gamus Union template connected deeply to this portal, connecting deeply to the sacred heart of the sacred feminine, to the sacred heart of the sacred masculine. Yes, as we surrender and ground deeply into this divine temple, which we were guided to today. Alas, the temple of the divine masculine the temple of men. What an honor, what an honor, what an honor for this activation of the intuitive goddess to take place and be held and witnessed and supported on the very physical geographic location of the divine masculine. What an honor. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We honor all men. We witness all men as they witness us right now, rising, shifting, transforming into the highest vibration possible. That's right. Good. <sighs> Invoking the divine goddess fairies, allowing them to come down into the space. Thank you for your presence. You've been so present as every step of this activation has unfolded. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being there. Yes. Invoking now the complete activation of the vortex lines energetically. Centering on Dallas in the center, geographically on this planet. Allowing your focus to come in right now as this pinpoint, the center of the compass, if you like, being Dallas, being the pinpoint, being the very center in this place where we ground down right here, connected to the earth through the temple of the masculine. And we now ask that the grid lines activate, connecting Dallas to all of the islands around that are indeed geographically exactly the same distance away from this very temple right here right now on Dallas drawing up the grid line between Athens and Dallas yes between Serena and Dallas between Corinth and Dallas Thermi and Dallas Troy and Dallas Argos and Dallas Kos and Dallas, Dictina and Dallas, Sparta and Dallas, Indigo Audro and Dallas, Argos and Dallas, and of course, Delphi and Dallas. Allowing each of these grid lines to spider out from the very core of Dallas right now, connecting each of them and allowing a divine circle to form. That's it. As we reactivate these grid lines, these divine geometries, we go ahead and we now request that they spin, allowing them to spin and ascend up. That's right. Spinning, 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 faster and faster and faster. As they continue to spin before our eyes shifting and transforming into a golden blur of white light. That's right. Accelerating, going faster and faster and faster that's right, a blur of golden light ascending into the cosmos. 
oro e na mai kreme shuko e ai na mai kai e ramo e ai mai kara mai e na e sai shi mai e sai shai sai mai noro a esir mai i kai e ramo e ai mai kara mai e na shukro e shu. That's it. As that continues to activate, allowing that to spin and ascend and activate a golden ascension ball of light. And now we begin to call in and draw attention to the overlapping dragon lines, which are present, the crystalline dragon lines over mapping this golden ball of ascending light. That's it. As these dragon crystalline vortexes begin to illuminate and light up, becoming more and more present, more present than they have ever been on the planet right now. All of the information stored within these grids, we are now able to access at any moment in time. All of this information is only one thought away, one thought away. The crystalline dragon grids are now activated. As these two portals of grid lines continue to overlap, ascending further and further and further, spiraling up, activating deeper and deeper, lighting up, becoming more and more and more vibrant. We now continue to tap in and pinpoint the oracle centers available right now through Greece. That's it. Pinpoint drop on Dodona, pinpoint drop on Delphi, linking up to the pinpoint drop where we are right now on Dallas. That's it. Allowing this to form a sacred trinity. That's it. The sacred trinity linking up all of the oracle centers, reconnecting them, reminding them each of the information stored within these pinnacles, within these vortexes, within these centers. And as the vortexes begin to open, it's as if a portal opens in that process, linking up each of these three portholes with the divine trinity so that each one begins to remember all of the pieces of information, all the tools, all the lessons, all the learnings, everything which is available. And as they begin to remember and see each other in this reconnected trinity, all of the karma begins to clear out that was stuck or blocked on these vortexes, allowing all of this to be available to all women right now. No kroi se shu. mai mai. I am my say she go away. Nay, my cramay, nee, a sour acrimay, and I say shy, my see, a sick away. I am a cramay, and he say she and a makai. I am my kitty me, and I see a shook away. Nay, or my, and I me a cramay, and I may, and I say sure, my, not shukro, my, not me, I hereby ask and pray with all my heart and all my mind and all my might and all my soul for your divine guidance source right now, divine guidance, direction and divine intervention with every single facet of the divine feminine right now, allowing us to accelerate and awaken our path of ascension, allowing us to step even deeper into the truth of who we are. I hereby ask and pray that each and every single one of us be worked on right now by ascended masters, whether we are present to this or not. We request that this happens with total ease, total grace, total flow. That's it. Beloved subconscious mind, I hereby ask and command that you take all of these thoughts, all of these prayers, all of these intentions right now with all of the vital force needed, all the mana, everything necessary in order for the divine feminine to truly step and manifest into its highest potential. That's it. I hereby ask and pray with all my heart and all my soul and all my mind and all my might for the full and divine intervention right now so that we may fuse any disconnect between the interior and the exterior of our living reality as the divine feminine. All of our interior dreams and desires and hopes and prayers and wishes and highest vibrations of our highest self, allowing that to simply become a divine reflection on the outside externally in our living reality. And we do this by beginning to shift all of the past distortions, which has been blocking this, stopping this, limiting this, limiting women right now, disconnecting them from their power. We 
go in right now and look at all of the distortions which get to clear that have been stopping women, blocking women, keeping them small, keeping them still. Going in right now and choosing to clear out instantly the reptilian interfaces that lie within these grids, choosing to release out immediately any negative ET implants which have been distorting the field of humanity right now, shifting out any imposed false light grids that have been imposed upon humanity. They are not ours. They are not our highest. They do not belong to us. They are not ours. Shift them out, 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 clearing, clearing, clearing. Shifting out right now any projections of fear which have been imprinted on humanity, projections of lack of self-worth, projections of doubt, anything which has been blocking, stopping or limiting women rising into their fullest potential. Requesting that all of this continue to clear 24 hours a day, 7 days a week until all of this is fully actualized and complete. No kuroi me si shikara mai nai kara mai nai shoro moe nai kara mai ni kara mai ara mai kara mi nai si kuro moe nai sai shikara mai a kara mai kara mi nai era mai sai shukuro nai si kara mi nai era mai a kara mai era mi nai sai era moe sai shikuro nai sai shakara mai. Calling an Archangel Michael right now to suck any remaining darkness, trauma, pain or distortion out of each and every single energetic body of the feminine right now using his magnetic golden hands. That's it. And calling on the galactic healing team for any other work that is needing to be done right now in order to clean up any etheric darkness quickly and efficiently, creating forever lasting change. Okay, good. Allowing all of that to settle and ground into place. Drawing our attention now to Greece as a, as a country and as a porthole, as a location as a whole, and allowing this to be pinpointed as a vortex on the planet, a unique chakra point. Connecting this now with the pinpoint of Bali, that's it. And now connecting thirdly to the pinpoint of Egypt, allowing another divine trinity to be formed and reactivated. As the planet begins to remember what is stored between these three locations, between these three grid lines, linking them up, sharing the information, requesting that the information now flow easily with total ease, grace and flow available for all of the highest good that are willing and able to access this information through their free will. That's it linking up this trinity and then linking it directly to the Palladians and the Acturian star system. That's right. Allowing all of this to sync up cosmically as well. Ah, that's it. Almost as if pillars are forming, just like in this temple, from the ground, from the earth, from the core, the center of the earth, all the way up into the cosmos. Good. Okay. Now activating down through these 13 pillars in this very temple in Dallas right now, the temple of the divine masculine that we are being held by, that we are being witnessed by, that we were divinely led into the space right now. That's it. Activating through the 13 unique pillars here that stand present before us. And from this place, we begin to now invite in the 13 intuitive goddess codes. That's it. Allowing these geometries to come down into the space, into the field. <sighs> That's it. Allowing these new codes to come and settle in 
good, beginning to run energy through these codes in order to start waking them up and activating them, upgrading any geometries which are appropriate to be upgraded right now for the present time here on the planet. That's it, allowing these 13 codes to now stabilize and ground into this version of reality, requesting that these codes be available to anyone that chooses to access them at any moment in time, anyone who chooses to truly embody their intuitive goddess, anyone who chooses to step into the highest version of their reality and truly embody their highest self of the highest frequency, allowing all of this coding to begin to come in, grounding down and activating through these pillars right now. I have I pray and request with all of my heart and all of my soul and all of my mind and all of my might for divine help, guidance, assistance, direction and divine intervention when it comes to fully developing the Ascended Master abilities through each and every single piece of the Divine Feminine. That's right. Every piece that goes with being an innate Ascended Master. That's right. I ask and pray for your assistance in fully opening the psychic abilities of each and every single female on the planet right now so that they are able to fully see, fully hear, fully feel, and fully know at all times. And of course, fully trust in these abilities, fully utilize these divine gifts of the divine feminine, fully utilize them in order to go out in life, in business, in money, in relationships, in their health, in every area of their life, in order to take this and elevate their lives into the highest frequency possible. That's it. Activating conscious telepathy, activating bilocation, Activating teleportation, activating shape shifting, activating materializing objects, anything which anyone desires to pull in. Remember, remember, remember. Allow them to remember that this is their natural state. This is their innate ability. This is a unique gift, their unique solar power. This is their, their, their gift that they are able to tap into at any moment in time as each and every single facet of the divine feminine and every single woman on the planet right now begins to wake up, wake up, wake up and remember who they are. We remember who we are. We remember who we are. The divine feminine remembers who she is. The intuitive goddess remembers who she is. I am an intuitive goddess. I am an intuitive goddess. I am the intuitive goddess. I am the intuitive goddess. No, I say, nay, nay. I ikre mai, nay. Ah, se shay ma kara mai. Nah, he koin mai. Ni kara mai. Naya say shoo shoo shoo. Requesting that the intuitive goddess within each and every single female right now on the planet remembers her value, remembers her power, taking back any time that she has given her value or her power away. Any time that she has disconnected from her greatness, disconnected from the truth of who she actually is, we claim that back. We claim that back right now in order to fully embody having it all in every area of our life on our terms in alignment with light of the highest vibration so that we may be of greatest service in our planetary mission right now. We choose to rise. We are here. We are open. We are available. We rise unapologetically, unapologetically into the truth of the intuitive goddess that we choose to embody right now. I humbly ask and pray with all of my heart and all of my soul and all of my mind and all of my might for divine intervention and in helping each and every single intuitive goddess fully open all of their gifts and at the same time fully open their channel 
so that they are deeply connected, deeply intuitive, deeply able to speak with their guidance, with the masters directly. I decree and declare that this is now our natural state. This is who we are. I decree and declare that we remember that all of this is available. All of this is easy. All of this is fun. All of this is useful. We're so grateful. We are so grateful. We are so grateful for everything coming online right now. I hereby make the request that each and every single intuitive goddess that is currently raising their hand in this initiation, whether they are consciously aware of it or not, I request the miraculous intervention of the God force of each and every single one of their soul monads in order to open each of these elements right here, right now. So we are able to spiritually see and spiritually hear and spiritually see and spiritually know and spiritually speak in every single way and allow these gifts to flow through us in a way where it serves us most. Maybe we are able to write in this way. Maybe we are able to speak in this way. Maybe we are able to move our body in this way, whatever it is for us and our unique gifts Allow this to flow through us in a divine way with ease and grace and flow. I give complete permission for source, for God, for the universe to do whatever you need to do in order to fully accomplish this task, fully upgrade the divine feminine into the true embodied intuitive goddess right now, expanding our ability to serve on this planet right here, Right now. Ehi karamoi, ni se shukoi, nai ma karamai, nai si shakai, or okaramai, nai me sa ishi karamai, a karamai, ina mai, si ko ruomo, ina mai, si nokoi, na karamai, i ramakai, shuko, rokarame, nokoroi, nai sa shu. Calling forth Lord Sirius right now, calling forward as an instrument to bring forth the galactic and universal knowledge through the intuitive goddess right now. Universal knowledge, universal wisdom, universal love and universal nurturing, allowing all of us to come down into earth and truly be embodied in the divine feminine. I also call forth your direct guidance and intervention to teach us how to fully actualize and utilize all of the light information in a useful way that is now pouring in through the divine feminine right now. We call for further direct conscious assistance and unconscious assistance during times of sleep and conscious waking, allowing us to accelerate our manifestations as intuitive goddesses on the planet right now. I request a full and complete anchoring of all the light packets of information right here connected to the Hieros Gamus Union template, allowing all that is stored in the archives right now that would help any of us in our divine planetary solar and galactic mission on Earth and beyond, requesting that this divine assistance is available to all one thought away, one thought away, one thought away. <laughs> I request a total and complete upgrade in the light quotient, allowing the light to spin and accumulate within the solar plexus of each and every single intuitive goddess right now. That's it. Allowing the light to accumulate here, allowing it to spin, 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 spinning faster, faster, and faster, increasing the light quotient into the highest percentage of ratio of light that the system is able to hold right now. That's it. Allowing this to easily stabilize with total ease and grace and flow. And as the light continues to rise and illuminate, we request the coding of divine beauty and divine radiance to be activated from the inside out, from the true light, from the light of source, from the light of light of the highest vibrations, releasing out any old templates around beauty being on the outside and instead allowing the inner radiance, the inner decadence to shine through and illuminate each and every single person that walks in the path of this intuitive goddess. Nukroe me karame, ai ai, na karame, i ramae, ni e sai koromoe, a ma karame, ni e shukoe. 
I request that this huge amount of light information that is officially invoked be connected right now through the pillars of Dallas, these 13 pillars surrounding us right now, connecting this to the planetary grid. That's it, connecting to the two divine trinities, connecting to the dragon grids, the crystalline dragon grids, connecting to the vortex lines, connecting all of this up, ascending across all time space, different pieces of the galaxy, allowing all of this to connect. That's it, connecting up with ease, with grace and flow, so that this may now become an information highway so that all may benefit. I hereby ask and humbly pray with all my heart and soul and mind and might for divine abundance to be activated within these grids, available for each and every single intuitive goddess to manifest divine personal fortune, abundance and success in whatever way that looks like for her, so that she may be of greatest service in the planet right now. We are here, we are present, we are available. We stand greatly in our power and we are committed to moving beyond any fear, lower self or distortions that are, have showed up in the past or may attempt to show up in the future in order to fulfill our highest planetary pl uh, mission on this planet right now. <laughs> Allowing all of this to activate through the rainbow grids, bringing in the divine rainbow metallic tones, beautiful. Allowing the lifting process to now begin. Remembering right now that we are a divine manifester, a living embodied alchemist. That's right. Requesting total axitonal alignment right now through all of these grids and the blurring of the original grid so that anything that was false or out of alignment or simply outdated gets blurred and shifted out of the field right now, allowing it to clear, clear, clear. Activating the unified chakra, shifting and rebuilding all of our DNA right now. Reversing the aging process as we remember the core of who we are as an intuitive goddess, being totally in alignment and integrity and transparent. We are resonating right now at this dimensional frequency. And so it is. We allow the quickening of the vibrations of the frequencies to accelerate and spin, allowing all the geometries to spin within us. <laughs> Calling forth the tube of light right now to come down and literally fill each and every single one of these 13 pillars surrounding us, coated with the 13 intuitive goddess codes, allowing them to light up and illuminate. <sighs> That's it. Calling forth this tube of light, bringing forth this ascension collar and light, a pillar of light, and allowing these pillars, these 13 pillars to surround you and form one huge golden pillar of light right now calling forth the golden white ascension energies coming down through your crown chakra, connecting you to this golden white pillar of light, allowing a full and complete opening of your ascension chakras. That's right. I request right now that there is a full and complete opening and complete activation of your brain center, allowing your brain to fully come online and be used at its highest uh, capacity. That's it. Okay, good. I now call forth a complete anchoring of the fourth dimensional chakra grid and chakras 8 through the 15, calling forth the fifth dimensional chakra grid, chakras 16 through to 22, and now anchoring all of this right now under the guidance, of course, of light of the highest vibration. Good. Calling forth the full anchoring of the 342 levels of light. Calling forth the full anchoring and integration of your soul and monarch light bodies, allowing all of this to anchor and stabilize into the field right now. Good. And calling forth the full anchoring of your solar body of light. And of course, calling forth right now your golden angelic solar bodies, allowing your angelic wings to be fully activated as the intuitive goddess that you are. Good. And under the guidance of Samit Kunar, I, I ask that we begin to now spin these geometries. That's it. Spin them. Spin, spin, spin. Begin to raise your vibrational frequency to the full realization of amended master state and allow all of this to be easily accessed within your consciousness, <sighs> allowing this to spin, spin, spin. 
requesting right now that your greater flame begin to merge with your lesser flame. Good. Perfect. And now running these energies at the appropriate level for you right now. Good. Of course, this flows through every single intuitive goddess, every single woman available right now on the planet. So allowing the collective to be updated. <sighs> Good. Remembering this is a deep co-creation process, a, a process of, of the collective rising. And as we remember each and every single one of us that we are one and we are all connected, then each and every single one of us doing this work right now begins to upgrade as each and every single one of the other women on the planet begins to upgrade and collectively, but we begin to shift and rise and shift and rise and shift and rise. I call forth the planetary ascension ray group which you are personally connected with. And I ask that every single person receive the benefits of this meditation, this activation also, if they desire. Calling forth Archangel Michael once again to cut forth any bonds or ties or cords of negativity that are currently binding any of us to people or situations that are not of our highest light. Allow us to fully see and fully witness anyone or anything that is out of integrity, anyone or anything that has distortion within their field, anyone or anything that is not operating in the highest frequency that is going to serve us. And I ask that all of these cords be cut, cut, cut right now, shifted and dissolved. All concerned be forgiven, all negativity be banished and burned right now, allowing all of this to clear out so that we may rise. No rukoe mai si shi a makaramai a rukoe shukoe nai mai karamai ni mi a si ko roe mai si shukoe a romoe ni mi karamai na me sai shukoe ai kromoe calling forth the full and permanent anchoring of the cosmic heart right now tuning into the heart center and requesting that any geometries within the heart be divinely upgraded to be in alignment of the heart of the intuitive goddess at its pure natural state totally loving totally nurturing totally connected totally purposeful totally driven totally intuitive totally intuitive goddess as she is <laughs> Calling forth the full and complete firing, activation, and integration of all of the fire letters and key codes within every single part of our system and within our ascension healing models for full realization of all full spectrum of all dimensions of reality. <sighs> Good. Requesting a light shower in order to raise our light quotient to the highest possible level that we are capable of integrating at this moment. So that, of course, we may live and be in the highest alignment with the truth of our planetary and cosmic mission. <sighs> Perfect. Allowing all of this to ground and activate through the Hieros Gamus Union template. Remembering that the sacred feminine is now fusing deeply with the divine masculine. As we are divinely held in the sacred container physically here on earth right now, being held by the divine masculine, witnessed by the divine masculine, we allow the divine feminine to come in and shift and cycle and begin to spin around us right now. Allowing all of this to skin, spin, spin, allowing it to open, 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 and clear, allowing it to accelerate. That's it. Allowing all of this to fuse together so that the feminine linking in with the divine masculine as the masculine bears witness to the feminine continuously rising gives also permission for the masculine to do the same. And as these two energies fuse, we begin to reactivate the true templates of divine union, opening this portal right now for divine union, allowing all of this to open up on the planet, requesting that this portal be opened through the sacred ring, this sacred portal opener right here, right now 
now, allowing the light to shift and diffuse through this galactic stone, allowing this portal to open, opening up this wave of the blue ray, new information that is coming through in the unions, allowing these new unions to come through and truly be embodied. The intuitive goddess at the highest frequency in alignment with the divine God, the goddess and the God fusing back into oneness, fusing back into divine union, fusing back into light of the highest vibration. No kuroa me sai shikoi, no rumoi nai sai rukoi, mai kara mai kara mai sai shu. Allowing all of this to deeply, deeply, deeply settle into place. Allowing this to be a natural and easy opening and activation for all women right now. <sighs> requesting that all of these divine upgrades continue to shift and be waving through humanity, weaving through the threads of consciousness right now. That's it. Allowing all of this to easily settle into the field as we begin to remember who we are. We remember who we are. We remember who we are. As the whole of humanity begins to feel the wave of this upgrade, feel the wave of what is available to us in this present moment in time. As the DNA begins to switch back on, coded within our cells, every cell begins to wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. And we begin truly embodying with total ease, total grace, total flow, the divine true essence of who we are. We begin to remember that we are the intuitive goddess. We are one, we are connected. And as we all begin to remember this, we all continue to rise into our greatness, allowing us to truly, truly step into having it all in every area of our lives, in our health, in our relationships, in our money, in our purpose, in our business, in our passion, in every single element that we hold sacred to our hearts, all of this begins to shift and wake up and activate. As all of the waves of this activation, the frequencies, the vibrations, the coding, the geometries are lit up through these 13 divine pillars, coded with the 13 intuitive goddess codes, this divine frequency begins to accelerate through the planet, spinning through the planet right now, engulfing the planet in white, golden light. And as the earth begins to illuminate with this divine golden light, this divine golden light is now sent out into the cosmos, into the universe, allowing all beings beyond planet Earth to facilitate and also receive this divine upgrade, this divine activation, this divine awakening. <sighs> May all beings here on earth and beyond receive all the benefits of this activation, whether they are aware of it right now or not. <sighs> Allowing all of this to ground deeply into the earth grounding into the earth through these 13 pillars, deeply connecting to the center of the earth, allowing all of the grids, all of the geometries, everything that has been linked up today to easily settle and stabilize and root into the earth, just like a tree growing roots. We request that these roots continue to root into planet Earth and into the field 24 hours a day, seven days a week until they are fully rooted and complete. And just as deeply as we root, we continue to rise. And we request that each and every single element activation and upgrade right now that took place, allowing every single intuitive goddess to rise into her greatness, we request that this continues to happen. This continues to be so. As each and every single intuitive goddess on the planet right now 
deeply embodies the truth of who she is, how powerful she is, her voice, her gifts, her power, all of it with total ease, total grace, total flow. And we request that this activation continues 24 hours a day, seven days a week, until it is absolutely fully stabilized, embodied, and complete. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being a part of this. Thank you, divine beings. Thank you, radiant beings of light. Ah, oh, thank you, angels. Thank you, fairies. Thank you, Venus star beings. Thank you, Palladians. Thank you, Syrians. Thank you, Arcturians. Thank you to the goddess fairies. Thank you to the Lyrian goddesses that led us here in this very moment in time. Zaya, Samara, Leha. We see you. We feel you. We know you. We are you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We are here. We are available. Please continue to guide us, nurture us, hold us, and support us. Oh, we love you so much. I am an intuitive goddess. I am an intuitive goddess. I am an intuitive goddess. I am the intuitive goddess. I am the intuitive goddess. I am the intuitive goddess. And so it is. Okay, you did it. Congratulations. Thank you so much for being a part of this powerful activation. Your contribution and your receiving of this activation allows and contributes for all women on the planet to rise right now. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I wanted to share a little bit around now how you can best integrate this activation and this process in order to accelerate the results as quickly as possible. So please know that everything that you just heard and felt and everything that you didn't hear and didn't feel but did happen <laughs> has continued to create this wave that will keep everything shifting in your field for at least the next 90 days. So I just invite you to surrender to the process. Anything that is wanting to come up and purge and clear out of your life right now, anything that is not in alignment with your light of your highest vibration, your purpose, your mission, anything that's not in alignment with that will clear out and will purge. And we let this happen so that we can allow for instant divine manifestations to actually take place and take place in your reality. Instant divine manifestations are looking to now come into your field. And if you're open to them and if you're available and if you're willing to surrender to this process and this integration process, then they absolutely will happen. And I'm excited to hear about the instant fun, exciting things which do get to unfold in your physical reality from this moment forward. If you've loved this activation, then please share it. Let's get it out to the world. Get it out to other women so more, more people can actually hear this and feel this and receive this. And if you want to go even deeper, then I have an invitation for you. If you would like to come and join me in the Intuitive Goddess 13-Day Online Immersion. What this looks like is for 13 days, we go really deep into individually the 13 intuitive goddess codes. You see each one of the 13 intuitive goddess codes, each one has their own unique activation. So similar to this, uh, but very, very specific on the unique codes. And you might be saying, okay, so what is an intuitive goddess? <laughs> an intuitive goddess is a, a powerful female 
that is totally unique and totally embodied in the feminine expression of God. Remembering that the goddess is not outside of you. It's not a status or a figure that you pray to unconsciously giving your power away. Instead, when you truly realize that you're an intuitive goddess, a, a deep honoring and honoring of the goddess and yourself simultaneously, because there's no separation between the two. So when you activate the intuitive goddess codes and you choose to live into them daily, you begin to return to your natural state, your natural state of being so powerful, so pure, so connected. You remember that you're a born powerful manifester. There are so many gifts that are available to you to access right now. You remember that you're so radiant and so beautiful and you choose to activate that beauty from the inside out simply by embodying more light from your soul. You move through the world with class and ease and grace and you flow like water through any challenges using your divine guidance at all moments. You are fully psychic, fully intuitive, and you are able to fully see, fully hear, fully feel and fully know instantly and constantly. And you utilize all of these gifts in your life, in your business, with your money, in your relationships, with your purpose, all of it, right? You utilize the gifts every single day to assist you in the divine unfoldment of your planetary mission right now. A truly embodied intuitive goddess has a powerful voice and she is not afraid to use it <laughs> boldly, bravely, powerfully speaking her truth when necessary. She has a sort of no and a loving, powerful yes. She has many tools in her toolbox. <laughs> She's deeply, deeply, deeply connected to her soul. And she has beautiful, rich, nurturing relationships that she lives into. And one of the relationships that she holds closest to her heart is her connection to her soul. And she chooses to live in alignment with her soul's truth every day. She embraces the power of embellishment, allowing the intuitive goddess to be physically seen and received in every moment. And when these codes are activated, the 13 intuitive goddess codes, people are naturally drawn to you. They're magnetized to you because of your natural nurturing essence and your simultaneous power all at once, right? Like you understand you understand this power is so great because you have the ability to nurture and hold people and projects and missions and money and anything that you're calling in. But at the same time, you're surrendering to being held and you're in this beautiful union with that. You are so connected once you activate the 13 intuitive goddess codes. You remember that we're one and any separation is totally an illusion. And you are committed as well to actually assisting yourself in rising to the highest vibration while so many other women on the planet do exactly the same. So I could go on and on and on, <laughs> but for now, this is going to be an extremely powerful training. And I simply invite you, if you want to join us for these 13 days, myself and a powerful group of incredible leading women online, then just know that this is for you. If you're serious about really wanting to accelerate this process from here forward, there is a private VIP coaching and support group online that you will have access to. And of course you will have all of the videos and the activations for life. So you can go deeper and deeper and deeper with them. You can secure your place on this page or simply send me a message or an email if you'd like to be a part of this. But once again, regardless, congratulations. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for receiving this activation, for being so open, for being available, for being a part of all the women collectively rising and embodying the intuitive goddess right now. I see you. I love you. And I honor you. I am an intuitive goddess. I am an intuitive goddess. I am an intuitive goddess. <sighs> and so it is. I hope you take your time integrating this and I really hope you enjoy. Now, if you want to do the 13 day, I'm going to insert the link here. If you don't access the link for some reason, you can just 
copy this, it's super simple. If you're confused with this link, it's bit.ly slash goddess immersion. Or um, in the description also, please follow that link. If this is for you, the, the deeper work, the 13 day, if this is for you, you will know in your heart that it's for you. If you don't really resonate, if you're not really sure, if you think it's out of your price range, then it's, it doesn't really, it, it's just not for you right now. Maybe in a year, maybe in six months, I don't know. But at least the one hour thing, I can guarantee you was more than enough to transform what you thought wasn't transformable. And if you're not really sure if you're ready for this or if you're not really sure it's meant for you, then please just wait on it. Like, just wait a few months or you'll know when it's the right time. If you just kind of try to force yourself to take something because it worked for me or other people, it's gonna be a, not, not a good idea because it's kind of like if somebody's prepared for surgery, which this is literally an energetic surgery, and you're not primed for it, you're not prepared for it, it'll be like ripping open something that's not even ripe, like, just it, it's not it, when the time is right you'll know um what i'm going to say is if you are somebody who resonates with me a lot you will benefit from this just as much as i did um the resonance is out of this world if you are somebody who had private readings from me if you were one of my clients you will resonate with this to a level that's out of this world. You will benefit from this as much as I did. If you're a man, you will just as much benefit from this because you also have divine feminine energy within you and this will just... Shifting from struggle to flow, right? Okay, so that's as far as I will talk about this today. Um, Thank you so much. I really hope you enjoyed this. It's such a blessing and honor to be able to deliver this to you and sending you amazing integration. Bye.